Don Clemens, you met this team, this under 19 Swiss team, a couple of days ago. You've seen them through the camp in Surville. You came up to Holland with them. What can this team do? Well, it's hard to say right now. They're prepared. Good bunch of young guys. They work hard. And uh, I guess we're going to find out this evening. But uh, they're, they're excited, and we're excited for them. I think that they've worked really hard. They're prepared to play. They prepared themselves to get ready for the camp. So we're excited about it. How do you evaluate the level of this team? Well, it's hard to say. I don't know a whole lot about European football. I mean, I've watched it. I went back and studied it last year because I was going to go to Australia and we were going to look at some of their players. So I've looked at it, but it's just really hard to say for me to say. I watched the European Championship, the U19 uh, Championships last year, the juniors, and I saw Austria and Germany play, so I know that they're very capable. Obviously, the teams are different than they were last year, but um, they're well prepared. I know that both those teams are really good. I'm sure that I'm sure the rest of the field is as well. Um, so it'll be a great competition. I think it'll be fun to see how they uh, they play against these teams. We're playing against one of the best teams in the you know in the world, so it'll be fun. And is there something, anything? that impressed you about this Swiss team or not at all? Oh no, they're uh, very uh, energetic, they're fun to be around and uh, they, they want to play well and sometimes it takes, it takes a little while to develop that but uh, they're, I think Switzerland is on the verge of figuring out how they really want to carry on with their junior teams and it takes a commitment from a lot of people and we already have some. Uh, Christian obviously has done a tremendous job as as Michelle as the head coach, and uh, it, it's it's a vast undertaking. And you know we have some, uh, I guess you would say, issues here in, in in the country that are just inherent. I mean, you don't have sports in school, which is a tremendous advantage for some places because you can train right after school. Now these guys, they're really committed. They Some of them go to work and come back, take trains to get there at seven o'clock in the evening to train. It's hard. In the States, it's easy. I'm, I'm not sure how it is in other countries, but uh, in the States, you're committed to your school. So at four o'clock or after school, you're, you're able to practice and then go home. These poor guys have to go home, study, come back, study again. It's hard. So I'm very impressed by their, um, their ability to want to do this. I mean, they're committed to this and, and I love it. It's been fun. You said you don't really know about the level of other teams in Europe, but is there a certain point you have set a certain goal and thought, mm, this is what we want to reach for Team Switzerland. If it's lower than that, not happy. Well, the object is always to win when you're in a competition. Um, And obviously, these guys on this team want to win. And so you're always, you're always chasing that goal. But it's more how you judge your... I look at it this way. Success isn't always perfection. It's just the chasing of excellence. And how good could you be? Well, you can only be as good as your assets, your players and you can only be as good as you can train them. So um, the object is to get as many great assets, how many good players can you get, and how well can you train them? And there's limitations, and there's going to be limitations no matter where you are. Some places have advantages. We have some limitations here that we have to figure out here in Switzerland what we want to do with it. And there, there are a lot of people smarter than me that are going to figure that out. I know how to do my little part of it, which is truly a little part, especially here since I didn't have a, I mean, I've only been here 10 or 12 days, but it's been fun. And I, I think there's, a, I mean, there's an opportunity here in Europe and in particular Switzerland to really develop a program the way they want it. And it's up to them. You know, it's up to the committees to do that. Uh, guys like me, we're the, we're the foot soldiers. We do what we're told and we try to make it the best 
and the, I always want to make it best for the players because that's that's the important part of it. They're supposed to have a little bit of fun in this too. What would it be your words to the team? What do they have to do? Well, I really, obviously the other coaches are more important because they are around them all the time. Um, and they've seen them a lot more than I have. Um, the difference is, for me, is I just have a different type of experience. I come from the States, as does Rick, and we see things a little differently because we've been uh, we've been brought up that way. So our our gift, I guess it is, is is to explain to the players what we see and what we've seen and how how they can how they can gain from our knowledge. So what what I've told them yesterday when I talked to them a little bit, I said, the game when you start tomorrow is going to be faster than you expect because you can't assimilate game speed anywhere, no matter where, not, no matter where you are. So when they get on the field, these guys are going to be nervous, number one. They already know that Germany has one of the best teams that they're going to face, that, that could be faced in, in all of Europe. So they're going to be nervous. I said, so the first couple of plays are going to be really fast. They're going to seem fast. And then the game will slow down and you'll start to get into the rhythm of the game. I said, the best thing you can do is understand that you have to survive those first few encounters. So you let the game kind of settle in. And it's like, I've never been a boxer, but I've heard this many times. Boxers will say, you have to survive the first couple punches. And then you have to collect yourself and fight back. And that's kind of what I think we have to do. Uh, we're certainly at a disadvantage because we haven't played the competition that the team from Germany has. And that's 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 really something, uh, experience is, is, is a great value when you're nervous. So um, it'll be fun. I'm, I'm really, it's gonna, I'm really interested to see how they're gonna play. I, I think they'll do fine. I mean, obviously it's a, it's a tremendous challenge. I know this. The German team is well coached. They have a lot of talent, and uh, you know we're at a disadvantage right now. But this is something that I think uh, the administration in Switzerland understands that this is the beginning, and we need to get to where teams like Germany are. We don't need to copy them, but we need to figure out what we want this program to be. And there's a lot of, like I said, a lot of smarter people than me figuring that out. If I had to say. We would be, we would get really good because we would spend a whole lot of money on it. <laughs> but we, it's that's all part of it, and uh, I do know that there's a need for financial backing because it's it's important. You need to have. This has been a great experience for these young guys to come. We've traveled a little bit. We've staying in a beautiful hotel. Uh, they've been tremendous as as young gentlemen, uh, carrying you know their flag. Into a different, into different countries, and I think uh, you know Switzerland should be proud of these guys. I know I am, and I, you know, I guess I'm an honorary citizen. I guess maybe I can. I don't know how you get a different kind of uh, not visa, but uh, you know, a passport. But maybe I can get a double. One. I don't know. But uh, I'd be proud to be part of it. But I am proud to be part of this program, and uh, and I, I really mean whatever I can do to help. I'll, I'll be more than happy to do. It. And what would you say to the Swiss fans? How do they have to support this team? How could they support the team? And what do you expect of them? Well, fans, that's why they're, they're called fans. They're fanatics, you know. So most fans early on are parents of, of athletes. I don't care what sport it is. And then as you progress at different levels, the fans become more diverse. So hopefully, Uh, the Swiss, the family, the, the country will will begin to learn more about American football. And part of what what we do, what Rick and I are trying to do, is try to spread American football throughout wherever we go. So, um, I, I really think from the fans, uh, I would say education from our part, trying to help them learn, and then understanding that um, it's a tremendous game. And there's a lot of benefits that can be reached for the younger people starting to play, um, and and that might really 
benefit the country later on. It's another sport you can improve on. I know they have tremendous tradition in, in soccer, hockey, and basketball. It's hey, football is is not going to be the number one sport. It never will be, and I don't think you need it to be. I just think it needs to be a viable opportunity for for young people. And if you allow that, and if you can help them do that, I think it'll go. The country will benefit from it. That's just my opinion. And what can you wish the team if you have something to say? Have you learned how to say in in German, in French, or in Italian how to say "Come on, Switzerland"? No, but I'm sure by the end of the day I will. Um, and and I'm, I have to say, I've been so impressed by the, uh, the people of Switzerland because they're not. They're not bilingual, they're multilingual. When I came here, I was very nervous about trying to get anywhere. And uh, and the Swiss people have embraced me, I think. Everywhere I've gone, it's I turn around, I think I'm lost, and somebody's there to help me. Can you speak English? Because I only speak English, and I don't do that very well. So I'm just happy that there have been a lot of people who try to, try to stick up for me and put me in the right direction. So it's a wonderful country, and I really think that You know, it, no matter what happens, it's always going to be a wonderful country. So it's it's going to be. It, I'm looking forward to watching the guys play tonight, and maybe we can maybe we can surprise some people. I, it won't surprise me if we play well. That's all I want to do is them to have the young guys have fun and to play well. That's the most important thing to me. They've learned a lot being around each other. I mean, they're from all kinds of backgrounds and from all over the country. They travel together in a bus which is a story in itself, um, 12 hours or whatever it took us to get here. And so guess what? They get to know each other a little bit better when you're sitting next to somebody for 12 hours. But uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it's been a tremendous experience. So I'd say go Switzerland, period. <laughs>